All right, so welcome back. Okay, so yesterday we managed to trade below, right? Um, both of the wicks here, and then closed above this up close candle. Okay, created a volume imbalance right here. So I'm expecting some form of retest and then higher on a one hour chart. The retest should be somewhere around here, right? And we do have this one hour balance price range right here. The small little fair value gap, okay? I would like to note that down. So since the Monday's range has formed, I'll be looking at this and then higher. Right, um, even though there is another fair value gap down here, um best case scenario doesn't get down here. Okay, yesterday, as you have seen, traded through my areas of interest, right? Finding some rejection of that six hours um fair value gaps low. Okay. So breaking down into the 15 minutes. Right, uh, we do have a consolidation Asia. So that means I'll be looking for London for a trade setup. Okay. For London, I would like to see something like this. Right, trades down first and then up. That's what I want to see. Right. So if London creates something like this where it trades up first and then down. I'll be looking at the sell stops. Okay, we have a small volume imbalance right here that could be reached into, All right? And yeah, I think that's um that's it for yes, pretty straightforward right now. We have the Monday's high and the Monday's low. Okay, so if Tuesday is to take out Monday's high first, then we're going to get a deeper retracement for the dollar. Let's see. Let's take a look. Right, so dollar closed all the way back into that balance price range. Okay, above this volume imbalance right here. All right, so right now, um, I'm anticipating some form of a deeper retracement into this volume imbalance right here. All right, because um volume balance um act as a magnet as long as there is no body overlaying it. That's how I look at it. Okay, and since that uh, it has closed above this bearish, um fair value gap right here, this CB, I'm expecting it to find some support, and then higher. So something like this. Okay, so if dollar is to go higher than right now, back to yes, my analysis would be we might have a Tuesday high and then lower. Okay, take out Monday's range, uh, Monday's low. Okay, right, so dollar seems to be really strong. Back on four hours, right now it's trading within a fair value gap. This red line here is the mean threshold of daily order block, right? Um, bearish order block. So right, right inside a fair value gap. So that's most likely the next strong liquidity for dollar on Tuesday. Okay. So if I was to determine that dollar is to be bullish, then I would be looking for shorts on yes. Right, but of course, um, I'll be looking at London to see what kind of setup it produces, and then from there I would re-evaluate -eva again. Okay, very clear here. So as you can see on the four hours time chart, or oh, let's go down to the six hours. Okay, dollar has taken lows for three times already. Right, this sell stops one, two, and three. All right, so right now we have this um tree dries pattern. Okay. Usually this marks the low, right? But 
right now looking at this, it's almost an equal low. So eventually it's gonna come back down here, but um how far of its retracement, I'm not too sure, but I'm anticipating some form of turtle soup. Okay. Turtle soup meaning is gonna take up some buy stops first before reverting back lower. That is what I'm looking at right now. Okay, um let's use the current leading range. Right. So if we do not see any reaction of this level here, okay, then I'm anticipating it to run for the buy stops above. All right. Very clear here. So I think that's it for today. Uh, let me just double check the euro dollar. I think they should all be most likely the same. Pound dollar. Yeah, they're most they're all behaving the same way, so no SMTs and whatnot. Right. So for equities. Still cons consolidate consolidating within daily range. All right, so the daily range is right here. This period, current dealing range is this. So if you was to place a flip, this would be discount. Okay. Right, on a weekly time frame. Right. Um I would not really like this level to be tagged into, you know because this is a volume balance. So this level here, it's 4138. 4138 is right around here. So you have this other block. Not too sure right at the moment. It's kind of um, fickle right now. Right, so we have this volume balance and we have this fair value gap right here. More, both are points of interest. Should I highlight this? It's basically a weekend gap. Should be on a lower time frame, so let me just check it out. Yeah, it's um it's a new opening gap right here. So since I have that level, it's not needed anymore. All right, so let's see, let's see. All right. It's being really fickle right now, but as I've mentioned before, if we get a Tuesday high, we there's a very high chance that we're gonna get this new opening gap traded to which is also at the same time a volume imbalance on the weekly time frame. Okay, so that's what I'm anticipating. And I think that's it for, yeah, that's it for today. All right, and I hope you find this insightful and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.